This is my basketball box score code and output window. And that's what's unique about this particular window in that it's an output window in that you've got a traditional box score. But it's also a code window in that these buttons all over the box score are also labels. Well, some of them are. If you go down to the key in the bottom right hand corner where it says gray titles and buttons, there's a movie functionality button. So all these buttons to the right, that's where you would click to get particular um, film based on the corresponding, you know, Y and X axis stats and players. And then what's colored, so red title and white buttons, those are the label buttons. So all these buttons over here. So for example, the personal foul, if I click that, it's gonna label this particular player on the Y axis with personal foul. Block, it's gonna label that particular player on the Y axis, then you can kind of work it out below that. So to set this window up, you've got to highlight all your players on the y-axis, go to the rename um, tab on the inspector and download your CSV on any of your players. And then you can just, you know, right click and select all your players on that y-axis, y-axis. And then from there, basically you can start coding a game. Now, I would use this window for two scenarios. One, a practice scenario where you've got your squad split into two, for example, Scarlet and Grey for Ohio State. And then from there, you can kind of code the whole team and get the entire team totals. The other scenario I would use this window for is a scouting where you're scouting an opposition and you would put, say, the team you're scouting there and their opposition. However, you're only scouting the players on the one team, so you're going to get the team's totals down below and all those players' stats. So as I outlined before, it's pretty easy to follow along. You know, you highlight one team in position, hotkey one for the home team, hotkey two for the away team. And you just code, for example, personal foul, you know, uh, turnover, and also those totals will fill in below. Again, you can't actually watch any of these stats as they are not toggle buttons. However, you are getting the statistical output. And then with all the gray buttons to the right, you can get the, and down below, you can get the film. Now, the shooting buttons are a bit different. They're like my code window, if you've seen the video for my um, ultimate sports code code window. And let's say if I press um, plus two, it's actually just a toggle button, not a movie toggle button, but a traditional just like up and down toggle button. It's going to highlight the player's number. That's going to set the shooting matrix um, into, uh, into motion, and that's where you can select. So you've selected the result. Now the shot type, so say off the dribble, and then we can select the shot area, so right post. Here it's going to deactivate all those toggle buttons. And if I look into the um, sorter over here, I can see in that the team row and the player row, I've got the shot location, the shot result, and the shot type. So then in the matrix, you can really start to filter out different players, different shot types, and different shot locations by exactly what you want to watch. So that's this code and output window. If you have any questions, my email is in the description below. Other than that, I hope it's helpful for your team, and hope you learned something.